In the previous videos, we focused entirely on canvases. This is because canvases are the key elements of a mental canvas scene. But there's a lot more we can do with the contents of our canvases. Every canvas has a set of layers that can be used to help you organize the drawings and imagery on that canvas. You can think of layers as the building blocks of the canvas. When you open up the layers panel, you will see the layers of the canvas that you have selected. So in this case, I'm on the clouds canvas, which has a foreground and a background layer by default. And I can switch to the city canvas, and now I see the city's layers. Just like the canvas panel, we have two states for the layers. It can be smaller, so we just see the thumbnails, or we can expand the layers panel to see more information and tools. You may be familiar with layers from other software, and they work the same way here, in that the order of the layers determines what is visible. Right now, you can see that the city is transparent. As you know, this is because canvases are totally transparent, just like sheets of glass. So let's say we want to fill in the city so it's opaque. Layers can make this really easy. Switch to the background layer of the city. Now let's pick a color. In this case, I'm just going to choose white. Now I'm going to paint in the buildings on the background layer and you can see that the screen changed to gray when using the white pen to make it easier to see. Okay, now we have our foreground with the buildings and the background with the white paint. If I rearrange the layers, you can see that the white is now on top, but that's not what we want, so I'm going to drag the background layer back underneath. It's important to note that this is different from the canvas list. This is because the visibility of a canvas is based on where it is in our scene. If I rearrange my list of canvases here, it does not change what I see in my scene because I haven't moved those canvases. So the people canvas is still in front of the city, for example. There's no need to rearrange your canvas list unless you want to organize it in a certain way. Layers can be helpful in many ways. You may use layers to bring in imagery, which we will look at in the next video. You can hide layers with the eye icon. You can add layers here or merge the layers to combine them. You can also adjust the opacity of your selected layer with this slider. It's particularly helpful to adjust the opacity if you're tracing an image. You can also lock layers, which will be really helpful when you're using selection to edit your drawings. For example, if I want to select the lines of my city, but I don't want to select the white background, I can lock the background layer, and then when I swipe to select it, I'm only selecting the city lines. You can also move content to a new layer. Let's say I want this cloud to be on a different layer from the other one. I can select the cloud and then tap on this layer icon, and now the cloud has moved up to its own layer and I can always merge it back down. With both canvases and layers, if you hold down or right click, you will see a thumbnail where you can rename or delete. So to recap, canvases are like sheets of glass that we can position in space, and those canvases can be made up of layers. Layers are where we can organize the content of the canvas. 